Welcome back to another video. This is a Star Wars book to add to the collection of Star Wars videos. It's called Star Wars Art Posters. It's published by Abrams. Anyway, it's a nice book and I think it probably had a dust jacket, but I seem to not have that on this copy. So apologies for that. Uh, maybe it didn't, but it looks like it probably did. And most of the other books in this series by Abrams do have. So I'm gonna suggest, I'm gonna assume it does. So without further ado, let's have, let's get stuck in. Star Wars art posters. Look at that. It's got all these gubbins and sort of signatures down here. Forward by Drew Struzan. Classic image that, isn't it? There's another version of it. So we've got a forward, introduction, we've got the plates, and then the artist biographies. So I believe it's a no-nonsense, yeah, just the plates, just the art, which is what I like to see. Um, yeah, so this is going to be interesting. Let's go. Foldy out one look. It's got ooh, four four posters. Let me show them all. There's that one. There's this one. Hope there's not too much glare on the screen. I'm trying to do my best. There's a lot of black, and I'm having to use my lights because it's a very dull, miserable day out there. Um, just a quick thing to say. I've noticed Han Solo seems to be quite difficult to capture, I don't know, sort of authentically, whereas Luke Skywalker, is he just easier to draw? Look at that, it doesn't look quite right, does it? Whereas Luke looks fine, and I saw, saw another instance of it somewhere. Look, he doesn't look quite very, mind you, hmm, okay. I think Luke Skywalker's been to the gym a bit there. Yeah, here, look, hmm. Anyway, just a thing.
I love the variety of different styles in this book. Like you've got this sort of cartoon style art, you've got the Lego art, and then you've got um, kind of really realistic looking art, and you've even got like some sort of like a montage here, look. Um, and you know that looks that's just that's just a photo, isn't it? Mixed media digital artwork. It looks like a photo to me. I'm just going back a few pages. We've got well, what I think is probably the best one in the book, but I'm biased because I love Boris Vallejo. Um, and it's, yeah, this one here, look. I just love everything he touches, really. The composition's excellent. It's so stylized. You know it's Boris, but I love it. The lighting, brilliant. And there's a close up bit of detail from there. Anyway, on with the show. Where were we? I can't remember. We got to here, didn't we? Well, we've done him. Yes, we we're about here. Done the Lego. Kind of a fold out bit here. These are awesome, aren't they? Nice use of colour, I think, on those three. I like that minimalist design, it works. It's a very lanky wookie there. Bit of propaganda here, look. Lair of the Rancor, terrifying. Oh, I love these eyes from the Tuscan Raiders. And some good colour, like purple and yellow is working well there as well. What fantastic art there is in this book. If you're a Star Wars fan, this is a, this is a book to get. I love this style of illustration as well. A lot of detail and kind of like, I don't know, lines depicting areas. It's an interesting style, but it's appealing. Alternative poster design. Some comedy ones here. Awesome. So there's some biographies now for all of the artists who've been, who've had work featured in the book. Find out a bit more about them individually. So what a great book that is. It's one of the best Star Wars ones I've looked at, I think. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.